Hello everybody. This is a short video review of the You Can Be two pack of camo face paint, three colors in each applicator. Um, these are non-toxic. It's uh, oil activated makeup for costume, party, cosplay, or hunting, which I do have experience using face paint for hunting. Um, and I'm actually gonna show you a quick picture of me in a, sorry about the glare. That's in a ground blind hunting white-tailed deer in Texas, also a wild boar. But anyway, when you have the windows open and the animals could see inside, you definitely wanna have uh, things that are kind of stand out. You wanna have them camouflage. So that's why I had my face covered in black, brown, and green face paint. So that was uh, the little compact type of face paint that I used where you had to stick your finger in it and rub it on your face. Well, I don't have to do that anymore. These, uh, it's kind of like a little deodorant stick. Uh, and it, it is definitely small. They're just under three inches by an inch and a half wide. Um, but there's enough in here for uh, at least a full deer season, maybe even more, depending on how much you put on. Um, but there's black, kind of a medium dark green and a brown. This one has kind of beige color, kind of a light olive green, and then a, looks like an even darker brown than this other one. And to make it come out, you just rotate the dial just like you would on a deodorant applicator. Of course, uh, you don't want to be that guy and make it come out that much when you put it on because you're looking for uh, trouble by doing that. You just put it out a little bit. And then let's see what it looks like on real human skin. So I'm going to put one pass right across there. All right. And then to compare the dark brown to the dark brown, we're going to put this right next to it. All right. So there is a slight difference in color from this brown to this brown. So this is kind of coincidentally about the color of my skin, kind of the, the beige color. Um, but the black, the dark green, the brown, the darker brown, the olive green, and then the beige, which in my case is kind of skin tone. Um, but anyway, you can uh, very easily kind of rub the colors together and get away with or get rid of that distinct line because you normally don't want any sharp lines in your camouflage or your face paint. But you could just um, use your fingertip. Maybe even get it wet if you want or uh, no one says you have to put this stuff on straight. You can put it on and um, just different patterns. And if you really wanted to just say use uh, the black, just use that corner. If you just want to use the brown, just use that corner. Now, if you just want to use the green, that might be a little difficult to do that, but you could always uh, rub your finger in it and uh, maybe give it a shot. Since I'm doing a re review, I guess I could find out and let you know. Just rub some of that off and there, I guess you can, but um, then you might have a gap in there, but it's yours to use however you want it, however it works. Don't have to do it this way. You just gotta figure out how it works out for you. Um, but anyway, it works. This is what I'll be using. I think that little compact that I had that had the three colors in it or four colors is kind of all dried up and um, cracked and I can't use it anymore. So this stuff 
um, to take care of it. I'm just going to roll it back down, put the lid on it, store it in a cool, dry place. And it'll be ready for next uh, deer season come uh, November, December. But uh, in the meantime, I could use it for uh, varmint hunting and other stuff like that. And maybe even on Halloween coming up in October. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Hopefully this video was helpful. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.